Hi, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies. And today I want to show you a simple tool that I use uh, for helping me uh, generate hyperlinks in Spintax format. Now this uh, tool I found is quite useful for uh, uh, using with software like Article Marketing Robot and uh, also Article Ranks, which is a uh, blog submission uh, site. So it's all fairly straightforward. Here's uh, the, the main form here. So uh, what we do is um, just uh, paste in our keywords here. So uh, I'll just type in a few sample keywords. Keyword one. Now this could be, you could already have this in a spreadsheet or, or a document somewhere where you can paste them in. Now you can use as many as you like. So we'll just use three for this example. Uh, and then Below that are the uh, URLs that you want to use. Again, we'll just uh, I'll just use some here. I've got a Notepad. And we'll paste those in. So that's could be URLs to your to your main site or to various uh, Web 2.0 sites or or whatever. Now down here we've got um, our Spintax format. The default one there is uh, the most commonly used one. Uh, that's um, software like the Best Spinner and uh, a lot of uh, submission sites use that format. Um, we also have some of the other common formats. This uh, third one here is the format that um, Article Ranks uses. So for the first example, we'll just uh, leave it on that. Now hyperlink target, so that's um, the choices there. Uh, either none open in the same window or a new window so it all depends on exactly how you want to structure that if you want to use that or not and including the hyperlink title attribute so the title is where you uh, um, put your mouse over a link and the uh, title will pop up now from an SEO perspective it's it's usually uh, quite useful to have that in there because you could, it gives you an additional level of uh, spinning spinning your keywords so for this example I'll, I'll set that to yes so we'll generate the spin tax and um, so here we are you can see the the HTML that it generates now the reason I created this tool is um, some of the software or the sites don't easily allow you to uh, create a hyperlink with spun title a spun uh, anchor text and also spun URLs. Um, for example, Article Ranks allows you to spin the anchor text, but it doesn't allow you to easily spin the the URLs or, or the title. So this one gives you all all three. So all we need to do is copy that to the clipboard, and now we can start using that. So for the first example, I'll go to uh, Article Marketing Robot. Now, if you're not familiar with Article Marketing Robot, it's probably one of the best um, pieces of software for uh, submitting your articles to article directories. It does have its own uh, inbuilt spinner, uh, which is not too bad, but um, like most people, I, I just use the best spinner to create the content um, and then copy and paste that into the body. So in this one, I've just got some uh, sample text that I've uh, put into the body and summary. So the resource box is typically where you'd um, put your links. So, uh, and that equates to the author resource box that you find on most. So we'd, we'd put some typical text in here now. You'd probably make the rest of the, the text spun as well. But for this example, I've just put some static text in. Uh, and see. And now we'll just um, paste in our link that's uh, been spun for us. Now, we can or, uh, do a preview of that just to, to make sure that you know, the syntax is correct and that it also makes sense. So if we hit the preview button, and there we go, there's our, our keyword. Our third, it's picked our third keyword there. Um, if I go back. And do another preview. Okay, we've just done another preview here, and we'll see it's it's picked one of the other anchor texts. 
And also notice in this one, um, because the title attribute of the uh, hyperlink is also spun, it's uh, picked a, a random one. So that gives you an, an additional level of uh, randomness with, with the link in both the anchor text and the title. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it for Article Marketing Robot. Okay, so now I'll go and give an example using uh, Article Ranks. So for that one, we'll go back to the main form. We'll just use the same keywords and uh, URLs. So for this particular example, we need to use uh, this particular spin text format. And um, oh, we might, might set the, the new window target for that one just just for the hell of it okay we'll, we'll generate that and copy um, so here I've just um, got a sample article here that I've uh, created with uh, none of this text has been spun um, so with article ranks, traditionally, what you do is you've just got your usual link icon there to create your link. So you put in your URL and a, and a title there. And then once you've saved the article, you, it then uh, article rank gives you a form where you can put in alternate anchor text. But as I mentioned before, you can only uh, spin the anchor text, not the URLs themselves. So the easiest way is to edit the HTML source. So that will pop up the window with the raw HTML. And then it's just a matter of um, putting the cursor wherever you want your uh, link to occur. So we'll just choose there after the third word. And then hit the update button. And now you'll see in the editor there, it shows us the uh, spun anchor text at least. So again, and that, it should always uh, do a preview of these things once you've uh, got them saved. So I'll just save that. And I'll do a view. Okay, and so here we, are, we can see it's uh, chosen one of the anchor texts and also um, one of the uh, random URLs, whoops, <laughs> obviously a non-existent uh, page. Okay, well that gives you a very brief uh, overview of, of the tool and what and some of the things you can use it for. So uh, if you're watching this clip on YouTube, I'd really appreciate if you uh, clicked on the link below and uh, either left a comment or, or a suggestion on how to improve the tool on my site. Thanks.